town of Raczki, on the way to the famed Suwałki Gap at NATO eastern flank by Jacek Bartosiak. On the eighth day of the war, the 7th Brigade approached the small town of Braniewo at night. The 9th Armored Cavalry Brigade and the 20th Mechanized Brigade made convergent attacks on Kaliningrad. In the second wave, the 7th Brigade and the American Brigade from the 4th Division followed to be followed by two brigades of the Niemen division. Already in the evening of the first day of the attack, the Polish army entered Kaliningrad, located just 45 kilometers from the Polish border, and at night went north to take control of the naval port of Bautis. Further south and east, the 12th division lost the major city of Suwałki and took up positions to the west of the city. Based in Augustów, Polish mechanized brigades 12th and 2nd, supported by territorial defense forces, defended the city and the transition to Białystok and the area north of the Narew River. Under the cover of night, the 34th Tank Brigade, marching through Białystok and Raczki, passed from the Belarusian front to Goldap. From there it rolled into the enclave, capturing Gusev on the Russian territory. But already following, the American brigade of the 4th Division leaving Raczki encountered and came under attack from the entire Russian 4th Armored Division. As a result, there was a meeting engagement near Raczki at the crossing of the winding Rospuda River. 100 Abrams M1A3 tanks clashed with the new T-14 Armata and T-90 tanks, suffering heavy losses. The battle took place on both sides of the S-61 highway, where there are no limitations of the horizon and great conditions for dynamic tank combat, forest cover being rare and the terrain slightly undulating. The fight was underway for bridges on the Rospuda River, which the Russians wanted to capture, when from the right came a flanking movement of the entire Polish attack on Gusev in the Kaliningrad Oblast. From here there was a great tank battle. The former palace of the Pats family in Raczki and two bridges changed hands several times. The Rospuda River protected the right wing of the Polish army's movement to seize Kaliningrad, so it had to be defended at all costs. After a few hours, the 10th Tank Cavalry Brigade, following the Americans, also entered the fight, when after reaching outskirts of Paczki and crossing the bridges on the Rospuda River, they made a full head on assault on Suwałki. Pushing north, the Russian 4th Armored Division, that after sustaining heavy losses, retreated towards Lithuania via Szypliszki. Several hundred tanks took part in the Battle of Raczki on the Rospuda on both sides, and it was the largest tank battle in Europe after World War II. This is how I described in the book Poland between land and sea on war and peace, a hypothetical tank battle in early autumn of 2027 for the crossing of the Rospuda River in the small town of Raczki, on the way to the famed Suwałki Gap at the NATO vulnerable eastern flank. This happened for a reason. The town of Raczki is located between Suwałki and Augustów, just between the Biebrza vast swamps and the Augustów primeval forest on the way to the Suwałki Gap on the Rospuda River flowing through a narrow, heavily wooded riverbed. Therefore, it is extremely difficult to cross the river without regular bridges and road departures. Actually, there is no way to quickly prepare a pontoon bridge for heavier equipment. At the same time, Raczki blocks the approach deep into Poland and further movement in the opposite direction to the Suwałki Gap, Baltic states and northward to the Kaliningrad district. 
Only the town of Bakawajewo, a bit of northwest of Raczki, can perform a similar function, although not entirely the same. Both are bolting places in the event of war with Russia to control the Suwałki Gap. For this very reason, the Polish army and NATO troops should constantly exercise maneuver and actions in the vicinity of Raczki and Rospuda, so as to know the regularity of the terrain virtually by heart. I hope that the large NATO and American Defender 2020 exercise announced for spring 2020 will assume a crossing of the Rospuda River in the vicinity of Raczki to see how the terrain works on real maneuvering formations. There are three bridges around the town of Raczki. One wooden, near the famous Pats Palace, well known to tourists who enjoy the leisure time in this wonderful part of Poland. Light Russian forces could get through the forest leading to the Pats Palace and to the rear of the positions of Polish troops but this approach is suitable only for light infantry and special forces. A more important place is the second powerful bridge, where probably the Polish army would defend the Raczki front along the Rospuda against Russian penetration from the Suwałki Gap on Suwałki itself on the most convenient route for the Russians, the S61 expressway, which has four lanes. In addition, there is an older, smaller, but concrete bridge in Raczki, itself along with the communication system of the approach to the river valley. The layout of the river, its afforestation, the river valley, as well as the terrain and communication system behind the Rospuda river, mean that any defense of the, of the Raczki's crossings must take place in the foreground of the river, from the direction of Suwałki. Also, in order to preserve maneuvering and offensive initiative and reaction time on the Suwałki Gap by the Polish Army, defense on the extended foreground would resemble the former bastion or fort defense using numerous coppices, trenches and channelings of enemy's movement on the flanks and the numerous elevation points of the terrain here. Extended defense would probably go deep into the forward position far away in front of the river using convenient firing positions on this northern side of the river. At the same time, the channeled movement of the enemy would have to be directed towards three bridges located very close to each other so that Polish defense could be solidly prepared in advance and by the way, be a maneuvering defense or in other words, an active German-style defense from the second phase of World War II, when Germans professionally were employing maneuvering tank reserves to react to the situations on the front line. In the forward position, beyond Raczki, a per per perpendicular road connecting all the bridge crossings along the forward defense line in front of the river would provide a perfect staging area for maneuvering the tank reserves. In the rear hinterland in Raczki itself, behind the river, under the cover of buildings and trees, mortar and artillery stands and command centers could be placed controlling the extended forward positions in front of the river, which pulls slightly up the hill. As a rule, the area around <coughs> Raczki is open and slightly undulating, perfect for tanks with a view range of several kilometers within the light of line of sight <clears throat> and with several dominant points. For example, the wedding house or viaducts built by the expressway for the movement of animals, which in the meantime have become overgrown with bushes and tower over the surroundings, constituting a great firing point overseeing traffic on all bridges. It is easy therefore to prepare a defense projecting deep inside with infantry protecting Polish flanks on a forced narrow front. Care should be taken not to be flanked, for example from the wooden bridge by foot with Cornet ATGMs 
In the wooded area, the approach to the largest bridge, where the main Polish tank rear guard will probably be stationed. Tactical UAVs on the approaches reporting on the Russian maneuver will play an important role, and Polish defense positions will be subject to Russian UAV viewing it. On the other hand, the fight for a situational awareness system at the tactical level will be of great importance here on such a strongly narrowed front. It is worth seeing with your own eyes what this all looks like on the ground. It is just a three hours drive from Warsaw. There are places less and more important in the world and in the Intermarium. A small town of Raczki on the Rospuda River is very important indeed. Mm -hmm.